Hi, I'm Tarani Pennerman, founder of the best-selling naturally curly hair care brand, Curly Belt, and host of The Tarani Show, a show where we talk about hair, a woman's crowning glory. I'm so happy that you've allowed us to be a part of your hair care journey, and I hope that you enjoy the show. and welcome to another episode of the Taranique Show. I'm so happy that you guys have decided to join us for yet another episode. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe. We are the Taranique Show on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, everywhere, the Taranique Show. Okay, let's get right into this episode, guys. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about five common mistakes that new naturals make. And, you know... You know, a common mistake that people make when they, well, well, don't remember when you get box braids is how heavy they can be. Like my neck, I'm like, why is my neck hurting? And my neck is hurting because these box braids are like, they're a bit heavy. You know, I, I love to wear my natural hair. It's not heavy. It's very light. And I'm just like, you know, the box braids, they look nice or whatever. Is a great protective style, but my goodness, like my neck, I, I think I need to go get a massage because I, it, you know, anyway, it's just, it's the worst. It is the worst, but you know, you get used to it after a while, you get used to the weight of the hair. I haven't worn box braids in maybe a year. So I totally forgot like how heavy they can be. Anyway, let's get right into it. So the five common mistakes that new naturals make is number one, thinking that their natural hair will be like their straight hair, so, or behave like their straight hair. One of the mistakes that I made and I had to come to terms with when I first became natural is I always wore bangs, right? And I like my bangs to like hang down, you know, on my forehead, because my mom was always like, your forehead too big. <laughs> your forehead big cover it up right so i'm like okay you know that's like ingrained in my mind that i needed to cover up my forehead but now you know i'm older i don't even care you guys see this forehead all the time <laughs> i wear my you know top knot i wear my hair back in a ponytail i don't even think about a bag no more you know this is a forehead that i was born with this is a forehead that i'm gonna show up with y'all gonna just see this big forehead so when i first went natural my hair like it didn't come down on my forehead it would like stick up and i'm like what is happening i needed to to like lay down so what i would do is i would use like the flexi rods um or the you know do straw curls so that i can position the hair to fall down on my forehead to cover my forehead but you know, like when your hair is shorter, you're natural, you know, your hair doesn't exactly hang, you know, it stands up. So just know that when you go natural, your hair is not gonna behave the same way it did when you were straight. Hence bangs, you know, your bangs are not gonna fall down. And if you did a T, if you did the big chop and you have a TWA, your hair is gonna be too short to do that. So you kind of have to get into the mindset that, hey, this is my natural hair journey. This is a new journey and I'm gonna have to learn my hair and it will not be the way that it used to be. Even you're not gonna even look the way you used to look because if you see like women, you know, who switch it up a lot, who wear wigs, they look totally different when they wear different wigs. So when you transition or do the big chop from relaxed to natural, you're gonna look different. You're, you know, I look, I feel like I look older with straight hair and I look younger with natural hair. So that's also something that's really good. That's a bonus. People with natural hair tend to look younger. So just know that your hair will not behave the same way it did when it was straight and you even look a bit different. So if you're like a, you know, a woman that's maybe say over, I don't know, nothing is, no age is considered old because you're, you're as young as you feel. So let me go with like 60. 
and you want to switch up your look a bit this is a great time to go natural because it will take you know some years off so just just a tip anyway number two becoming a product junkie so a lot of new naturals make this mistake of becoming a product junkie because they they'll watch a ton of youtube videos and they'll see you know these influencers using this brand and that brand and this miracle product and and that other product you know and they'll buy all these products thinking that their hair is going to you know look like whoever whatever hair tutorial they're watching and it isn't so save your coins lady get ladies get to know your hair type your hair texture and even look for influencers that have your same hair type or hair texture and use those products that you see work well for them you don't want to be buying gel from this brand shampoo from the, another brand or you know just like buying this accumulating all of these products and you're not even sure if they're gonna work and another thing a lot of products don't work well together so I would advise you to stick with a brand so stick with curly bell you know come over to curly bell Use Curly Bell and then stick with all of the products that are in a specific collection. For example, brands make products for a in a specific collection that they work well together. So if you're gonna buy a shampoo from brand A and a gel from brand B and a like a leave-in conditioner from brand C, you're probably not gonna get good results. You're probably gonna get flaking, you're gonna say the product doesn't work. And no, it's not that the product doesn't work, it's because you are mixing products that were not intended to work together. So do not become a product junkie, pick a brand, stick with it, and then once you get in the rhythm of you know, your hair texture, which styles work for you, or you, know, you find out that your hair likes foams or mousses better than gels, or your hair really looks good when you use curl creams, then you can, branch out and experiment with other brands. So that's just a good tip for new naturals who you know don't wanna become product junkies. And number three, not having patience. You need to have patience. If there is anything you need before you start your natural hair journey, it's patience. Listen, you're gonna to have to relearn your hair. If you have never seeing your natural hair before you're gonna have to have a whole lot of patience when dealing with your hair how to shampoo it you know how to keep it moisturized how to keep it looking shiny how to keep it looking healthy which style looks really good you know for your hair texture or even how to achieve that style do you need to consult with a natural hair stylist or can you just watch tutorials and kind of figure it out on your own there is like so much to learn this is a new journey and like every new journey you have to have your patience because you don't know it all so bring your patience and don't think that you're just gonna do a big chop and then you know my natural hair journey is gonna be just you know rainbows and unicorns it's not gonna happen you need to bring your patience okay number four hair envy or hair delusion as i like to call it like you look at a girl on you know instagram or you'll watch a hair tutorial and on youtube and you'll be like oh her hair looks so good my hair is gonna look like that let me do the exact same steps and use the exact same products that she used and my hair is gonna look like that well, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but no, your hair is not going to look like that if you do not have her same hair texture. No Miracle product is going to make your hair look like a type 3 if you have a type 4C hair. It's just not going to happen. But the good news is you can find the products and the right combination of products that work for your hair type to help your curls look the best that they you know that they possibly can to give you the definition shine and moisture so healthy hair is basically hair that is moisturized it's hydrated it shines and it's it shrinks actually and it's very manageable and flexible 
and then you go into the styling of like curl using curl defining creams or gels anyway if you've made it this far in the video drop a number 10 in the comments so that i know that you're still here still watching me and if you made it this far and you want to try curly bell send me an email at taranique so it's taranique at curlybell.com and taranique is spelled t-e-r-r-i-n-i-q-u-e at curlybell.com curly bell is spelled k-u-r-l-e-e-b-e-l-l-e.com and I will give you a 30% off discount code to use on our site. So just send me an email and say, hey, I want my 30% off code. I watched the Tarrant Show. So that is just a bonus because you're tuned in and you've made it this far. And we wanna help you on your natural hair journey. You know, we, we've been doing this for a long time. We have a lot of knowledge in terms of, you know, hair care hair types, hair textures, which uh, stylers work best for your hair type. So we can answer all of your questions. And in particular, you know, for watching the show, I wanna give you like a gift, right? A gift from me to you. So just send me an email, tarnik at curlybell.com and say, I want my 30% off um, because I watched the Tarnik show. So it's just that simple. And number five, skipping a hair care routine. If you are newly natural, chances are you have been going to a hairstylist to get your hair relaxed, to get it blown out or straightened or whatnot. So you kind of leave your hair routine to the stylist. You don't really think about shampooing, conditioning, you know, deep treating and doing all that stuff. When you are newly natural, you're gonna have to establish a hair care routine so that your hair grows healthy, moisturized, you know, you don't have breakage and split ends. So in addition to, you know, not being able to go to a hair, well, you can go to a hairstylist, but in addition to, you know, not having like a routine in place because you left your routine to your hairstylist, if you're newly natural, you'll find that it's easier for you to do your own hair. So now you're gonna have to establish a routine. And a good hair routine starts with cleansing, of course, using a moisturizing, sulfate-free shampoo. Also using a deep conditioning treatment every time you shampoo your hair. Yes, every time, especially if you're a newly natural, because this will help you to grow hair that is healthy and hydrated and then using a nice leave-in conditioner that keeps the hair moisturized in between wash days. In fact, you'll probably have to use a leave-in conditioner every other day, depending on your hair type, to keep your hair moisturized. And then you're gonna have to find a oil blend. So we have a great one, it's our Curly Tropical Oils Blend to seal in the moisture and add shine. And after you've done that, yeah, I know it's a lot of steps, then you can use your styler, whether you wanna use a foam or you wanna use a curl defining cream or a gel, depending on which hairstyle you wanna go with, you can use a combination of stylers or just one styler. So these are all things to consider when you're going natural so that you don't make you know, the common mistakes or pitfalls that we see newly naturals make. So again, five common mistakes of new naturals. Number one, thinking that their hair will behave the same way it did when it was straight. Number two, becoming a product junkie. Number three, not having patience. Number four, hair envy or hair delusion. And number five, skipping a hair care routine. I hope that this information was helpful to you. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Like, follow, share, and subscribe. We are The Tarrening Show on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, everywhere, The Tarrening Show. Have